Where do I look? In the camera, right? Oh, right here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It is the Blair Rick Project here. Today we are doing a different kind of scary video and we'll tell you all about that shortly. We are off to Sandusky, Ohio. We're probably going to take the bridge because of the NFL draft, which is taking place downtown Detroit, Michigan. First time ever. So there was 300,000 people down there in the last couple of days. So we're gonna try to avoid that and head to Cedar Point to ride their new top thrill to roller coaster before the public. There was a charitable opportunity to do so that we took advantage of. I used to be really obsessed with roller coasters when I was younger. So it's tourist. Still are. <laughs> it's tourist season, and Rick is gracefully taking me there, which I really appreciate. So the reason this video is kind of going to be scary is because Top Thrill 2 is the result of a revamp of the original roller coaster Top Thrill Dragster. On August 15th, 2021, a metal L-shaped bracket the size of a man's hand fell off one of the trains on Top Thrill Dragster and struck a 44-year-old Michigan woman in the head. She was waiting in line and she suffered from traumatic brain injury. She was rushed to the hospital and she is now permanently disabled. She settled a lawsuit with the park, resulting in the new Top Thrill 2 revamp. Now they have a lot of new security measures and guests have to go through a metal detector upon entering. You cannot bring your camera, iPhone, anything really. And you can't be wearing sandals, so you have to check your items into a locker. Now the lockers are not free and people are losing their minds about them. I think they're like $4. The other scary part of this new ride is we're one of the first people to ride it. Opening day is May 4th, 2024. Now, there was testing last week and I'll show you what happened. It shows what looks to be something flying out of the coaster as it rounds the top of the ride and it's leading to a lot of speculation online. So that was one of the crash test water bags that wasn't secured to the actual train. Hopefully nothing to be scared about, but in videos that I've watched of the test so far, the way it just graces over that top hat is relentless. Like I remember from the original roller coaster, it was like, you know, it would actually get stuck sometimes and it would either go forward or get a roll back. A lot of people are also disappointed with the new launch because the first time it launches you, it's only 70 miles per hour, whereas it used to be 120 straight out of the gate. Now you will get that speed when you go backwards and then forwards again for the third launch, but it's run by a new system. It was previously run by a hydraulic system and it was so fast. Now the hydraulic system was great, it was badass, but it was constantly breaking down. And they used to say, arms down. Arms down. And I would have my arms down, but then when it would launch, I would throw my hands up. I was such an adrenaline junkie when I was younger, but now I'm like, okay, let's just abide by the <laughs> safety rules. I actually probably shouldn't admit this on camera, but I also had a trick of cheating the lap bar on Millennium Force to get more airtime. And they've caught on to people now, so you can't do it anymore, so please don't try. Disclaimer, I'm not trying to die out here. Ghost hunting does give me that adrenaline rush that roller coasters give. The last scary part of the roller coaster is the new pole that they've inserted. When the train goes up that pole, if the brake system doesn't work, it's going straight up into the sky, 400 feet up. Makes it that much more fun. It's breaking lots of records. It is now the world's tallest and fastest triple launch strata coaster and cedar point is very notorious for breaking records including millennium force which opened to the public in 2000 as the tallest and fastest giga coaster and my love for cedar point started there and i got a season pass that year and we went all the time one of the best days of my life was actually going during Cedar Point's Halloween weekends with my mom and it was a really cold day in October so the park wasn't busy at all. I think Millennium Force was like a 15 minute wait and they were warming up the trains in the station and you could see the steam come from it. So I just kept riding and riding it and then we had caramel apples nearby and it was just such like a fun day. I'm just so happy to be creating new memories with Ricky. Yes. What do we have here? Actually, oddly enough, we carry it now in Canada. Look at, they're advertising it. That's so funny uh, that we're here now. I won't have one tomorrow because my heart will already be pounding. I don't wanna have a heart attack, but we are off to Sandusky today for an adventure before we go to the actual park tomorrow from 12 to three is our window of time. So we can ride the new ride, Corkscrew, which is actually the first roller coaster I've ever ridden in my life with my dad when I was 11. I was terrified. The Magnum, we'll be passing on that one. It has just seen better days. The Himalayan ride, 
and then Power Tower, which is fun. I might actually go on Power Tower. Will you, Ricky? Nope. There was a accident with the Power Tower drop in Orlando where I think a kid actually fell out. Roller coaster accidents, they are rare, but they're absolutely horrible and terrifying. The scariest one was the Smiler in the UK where people got their legs crushed. What happened was, was that the computer system indicated that there was a train stuck on the track, which there was. And it was a test train that the ride operator didn't know about it, so they overrode it. They thought it was a ghost train and that it didn't exist, but it did. So the people that went, oh my gosh, it's so bad. They went down the hill because they were like stopped. They were stopped on the hill and then they went down through the circuit and then they smashed into the other car. And it resulted in the amputation of a couple riders legs, beautiful women. And of course they sued, but like it's your leg, like how much money can actually replace a limb? Like you can't put a price on it. So they went through huge safety precautions after that and the ride is still open, but like, it's kind of like with air traffic controllers. I don't think I could do that job. The pressure, like those are human lives. What do they call them on the airplane? They're called souls. What about the falling star that almost killed people? Oh, when it went off the hinge? Yeah, they're trying to hold on to it. I'm not going on any of these. I remember that. And so that was like a carnival ride, but those I don't trust either. Like I've always wanted to try the zipper because it terrifies me. I hate being claustrophobic, like in a death trap, but they assemble those and disassemble them too quickly. So this is giving the Gordie Howe Bridge vibes. Must be the same designer or architect. So babes, driving cruise control. Just chilling, <laughs> starting to help. Haunted, but here's our room. Ooh, nice and clean and spacious. We got a king size bed because at home we just have a queen, so we love doing that. There's the chair. Mm -hmm. Coffee maker, which we love. TV. And Ricky! E. E. <laughs> There's like this slab of marble upon the entrance. It's like <laughs> this is the window to nowhere. POV me when you stay at a hotel and there's no ghosts. All around me are familiar face. Cookie! Um, nom, 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 oh, nom, 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 nom. We are here. <laughs> Ready for our crumble cookie experience. We have four cookies starting from the right caramel praline, a brownie cookie, chocolate chip, and chilled milkshake. What? So, yeah, that one was chilled. The other two flavors were strawberry and oh. a snickernoodle. How do you say that? Snickerdoodle. And it looked kind of basic, so we got these. Do we want to start with the same one, or do we want we to? We should probably start with the same one. Okay. Taste it and we'll, we'll give our uh, our uh, viewers review. a rating. So far, this one looks scrumptious. There's caramel on the top with one pecan, which we'll have to fight over. No, no, it's fine. Just take a bite. Share. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm, what in the world? Ooh. It's like sticky. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I've never tasted a cookie egg before. I know, it's very soft, like very, very fresh. They probably bake them daily. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. flavor profile could be a bit higher. Like, I don't feel like the flavor is that, that strong. No, but it could taste good, but. I wanted I wanted to go back in for more though, which okay. kind of shows, no, I don't want to get too full. It is good though. It is very good. Like, I love a nice chewy cookie. Wow. Wow. The next one we have is a brownie cookie with sprinkles on it and a chocolate um, glaze. Mmm, wow, we're gonna love that one. Mmm. Yeah. So chocolatey. Definitely fudge. If you love chocolate fudge, this cookie is for you. Fudge. It's giving Little Debbie brownies, mm. but like obviously more rich. 
very soft. Both cookies are good, but because the brownie one tastes like a brownie, which mm -hmm. is nice, this this one here is it's a ghost. A ghost. <laughs> the next one is your traditional chocolate chip. Like, look how chunky this is. It is like thick. Look at that texture. It's like the moon. I'm going right in. Mm. This one's not as fresh, I will say that. It's good. If you would compare this to Tim Horton's chocolate chip cookie, don't you think it's giving the same? But better. This one is, I'm most excited about. It comes chilled with a whole bunch of icing. A little poof poof in the center. Like whipped cream or whatever that is. And then a confetti edge, similar to the vanilla dip. Tim Hortons. You can tell I'm Canadian because that's all I have to compare it to. That I am actually a dual citizen. Mmm, that's my number one. Immediately. Immediately! Smooth, creamy. Wow, motherfucker. No, that is it, I'm telling you right now. It's like a cake. It's definitely icing on it. <laughs> Rick's having a moment. That was so good. Look at the bottom too, you can see like it's infused with sprinkles. I'm going back in for a second bite for this one. Like Me this. too. So oh. this is your number one too? Oh yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> We're gonna have to, mm. this No, this is too much. And it's not too sweet. It's sweet, but it's not like, mm, too much. Mm. Oh, wow. That, if you ever wanna try any cookie crumble, like a traditional like, out of this world, go to the States for cookie crumble. The chilled milkshake. Wow, wow. Look at my teeth marks in that. <laughs> it is literally coming down. Is that hail? I don't know. We're going to the pool. Ooh, there's some activity in the pool. Not that kind of activity. <laughs> Sandusky's not too busy because Cedar Point's not officially open. There's a kid, he's wreaking havoc and he's squirting everyone and I'm like, I don't want to get my hair wet. <laughs> I'm not going in. I'm just going to show you, they have a really cute uh, mural. There's Millennium Force. And here's Top Thrill Dragster. But they have built a second structure here. They have to paint on here because it's been revamped. It's hot. Hot? love that smell coming out of a pool it's like chlorine and like old arcade plastic driving down the main road called Milan in Sandusky Ohio the Sun is like in our eyes it's blissful
creepy old picture. Poor kids, poor. She lost her iPhone. <laughs> actually looks insane like that pole At the is light, the highest right onto Fifth Street. I've ever been on <laughs> <That's not adorable. laughs> Johnny Don. but no um, it's high it's not short I'm not into these parks you're a little boat by yourself didn't your dad get stuck out here Well, it says eat and lube. So we're at Fazoli's. We thought it was like a Eastside Mario's type of vibe. Um, and the food could certainly be that, but it's like a, you order at the front and then you they come bring it to your table. So we started with the salad, which is really yummy. And then, because we added a combo to our lasagna, she gave us two drinks, which is really sweet. And Rick's trying to get the hockey game because Toronto needs to win tonight. So we got our pizza, salad, lasagna, it's giving like the pizza places in the airport that are just like so good. Oh, thank you. So we just came back in the room and this is going off. It's not paranormal, nothing. It was just like, what the heck is that? Um, <laughs> we got some breakfast food for tomorrow because we don't know if we're going to be up like early enough for the cutoff time because we like want to sleep in. Look at me and my banana. So we got banana, two yogurts. We're going to put them in the fridge and we're going to just relax in our room. There's this ongoing meme that when you're an adult, you can't just sleep out on a whim because like you have to have your lavender oil and things like that prepared. <laughs> That's literally me. Um, also, the shirt is supposed to glow in the dark. Let's test it. Good morning. Today's the day. We're checking out at 11 and then we're heading down to the park that opens at noon for our small exclusive group to ride. I wanted to show you my perfume of the day. It's Lilu by PacSun and it's discontinued and sabrina always jokes with me that i love everything that's discontinued but it's so true my theory is they discontinue the good stuff i actually smelled this for the first time when i was at cedar point this girl walked off the gemini and all i could smell was like lily and jasmine it was like this beautiful tropical scent and i was like oh my gosh and i had to ask her what it was anyway we're gonna spray it now oh my gosh beach vibe and they say whenever you're going on a vacation, choose a new special perfume for that experience. And every time you spray it, you'll go back to that memory. Keep right. We're officially on our way, way, way. There's the cause line. It is looking a little gray out here, but it said it's not gonna rain anymore. It stopped probably around 11. Millennium is not running. But it's awesome that everyone here today is like-minded people who all want to have fun and do things like straight away. So I'm looking forward to that energy. More passion, more energy. 
If you live in one of these houses right off the shore, you can hear people screaming on the roller coasters late into the evening. That's eerie. And it's on Lake Erie. Stay revved up all summer long. Special event. There's the blue streak. Wow, we get some up close and personal views here. to this one it'll go up in flames well the track has been updated wow. I know I imagine imagine sleeping there I'd love it here's a water park okay yeah so preview event we're parking here oh shit it's getting real here come the cramps no no I've been looking forward to this this is uh Look at there's Magnum. Oh, there's no one on it. Are they all ghosts? Yeah. <laughs> Magnum is officially stuck. It was stuck last summer and they had to walk down. Riders were forced to walk down the 205 mm. foot roller coaster by those stairs. There's no one on it. They're just testing it. So the other one probably didn't clear the end properly. Alrighty, here she goes.
and gentlemen, that ride is no joke. <laughs> I said to Rick, like, if it was tame, like, I'd be like, you can go. No, it is fierce. It is relentless. It does not hold back. You get airtime on the first top hat and then in the second one, wild. Like, I am still catching my breath. I'm, like, sweating. It's, like, 70 degrees here. It's starting to rain. Definitely thrilling. They did an amazing job with the revamp, and I definitely recommend it. So within five minutes of me riding the roller coaster, it broke down for lack of a better word. They ran about four blank test trains before it got working again. So I was glad to go on when I did. I literally walked right on. It was the most exciting thing. And I was just watching it and taking it all in and reflecting back. I mean, the most intense part was just being pushed back into your lap bar, being held on the spike and then dropping down. And I had my hands up and I thought they were gonna hit the top of the station, but it was an illusion. It picked up speed when it launches you the third time around the bleachers it took me by surprise because i never saw that in the test video but it almost like goes through like a second launch it is incredibly fast there's definitely a little bit of wobble to it wobble wobble let me see you shake it shake it now won't you drop it drop it oh take it take it so i just met mike who was part of the construction crew gets me every time uh, for the last two and a half years, I had a fangirl moment because I saw him from the test video on the Cedar Point website. He was so nice. So we get, as part of our ticket, some free brisket type of food. What's this place called? Barbecue. Barbecue food. Um, it smells so good right now. And like on the wall, there's these different things. So I got beef brisket, macaroni and cheese, dessert, and cornbread. And Rick got the same, but he got beans instead. Mm. How's it, babe? Good. So tender. I'm like right over us. <laughs> it's Jackson. So as we eat, we like hear it. It's so cool. Go and eat that cornbread. or it could crack and fall apart. Mm -hmm.